Hey, I wanted to give you guys a video on what's going on in my towers right now in November. Uh, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I took the extensions off my towers like a year ago. So these are all towers with 20 spots. And the reason why I did is they, you know, because I have them out front and I have this short little rather ugly house and they look kind of weird tall. They just look better short. So, you know, they're all built into the landscape and I think it looks nice. I think it makes the house look better to have the towers here. Um, but I wanted to give you guys an update on what we're growing and so I am growing strawberries and actually that's what I'm planting right now. I've got my little strawberries. I use bare root strawberries and I sandwich them in rock wool and just, you know, it's this easy. Pick out some of the old roots um, and just pop the plant in like that. So that's one. Two, three, and I think I had another spot open for strawberries. Oh yeah, right here. Four. I took some lettuce out of there earlier. So these are my strawberries. Oh, I have another spot and I have more plants. I may put an extension on top of this just because I have a few more plants and that will give me eight more spots for strawberries, which, you know, I love strawberries. So I'd rather have strawberries than beauty. But um, I have this amazing celery plant, and I have been eating on it every day. The crunch on celery that you grow yourself is amazing. Oh my gosh, it is so good too. And the colder it gets, the better it is. Um, I have a bunch of different pails, some little peppers coming out here. Several different lettuces. This is a small, this is a young tower except for that celery plant, which is several months old. And on here I have little gem marigold. I have been eating these flowers, they're really good. Um, they're very herby. They have to like herby stuff. But they're really good for boosting your immune system. Oh, I have a strawberry here. I wanted to move this strawberry. The reason why, see it pulled one out, is because strawberries really like the sun. And this is my tower that gets the most sun. I do have kind of a lack of sun here compared to my other house. Because look at these super tall trees right here. See how the sun is, huh, it's really effectively blocked by the tree even though it's only, it's like 11 o'clock. So um, these, sun, these, tree, these towers will get sun in the afternoon. But this one gets the most. So I wanted all my strawberries there. Um, I've got Tatsoe, which is one of my favorite greens. It does taste a lot like spinach. It's a technically a mustard green. It's really good with eggs. I've got some mint. I've been eating this mint every single day just as I walk out to the car, in my car. I grab some mint and I just eat it. And oh my gosh, it just really freshens your breath and it kind of gives you a boost. And you can really feel the antioxidant boost too. Same with the celery. I've been eating one of those every day. I throw the top out on the side of the road as I drive along in a wooded lot. And I figure some you know, it'll break down and it'll just keep the cycle of life going. Um, I have some peppers coming. I have tomato plants. I have lots of herbs. Lemon sorrel. Um, this is a big, I just pulled this out because I'm going to the Boys and Girls Club. They are growing a tower garden. I'll make a video of that later. We're going to harvest, but I wanted to bring in some extra lettuce. I have some dill. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that dill yet. We do love dill dip with vegetables. Um, I do have hot peppers right now too. And aren't these cool? These are just huge cayenne peppers. I'm waiting for them to turn red. I mean, they're really enormous. And so I'll dry those. And what else do I have growing? Uh, more lemon sorrel, which is one of my favorite, you know, eating raw plants. I, I tend to eat my towers raw a lot just because it's easy to grab and eat even the lettuce i'll just come out here and eat the lettuce so i have banana peppers chinese cabbage um i have um a sugar snap pea i could do a lot more of those one thing i don't have on these towers is green beans so i probably need to eat some of the lettuce and grow green beans i've got some beautiful tomatoes here um, i absolutely love these sun gold cherry tomatoes my favorite, favorite, favorite. So anyways, that's what I have going on in my towers. Oh, here's another one of my favorite lettuce plants now. It's called Mirror 
M-U-I-R. And it is a super crunchy, almost, I mean, it's as crunchy as, this, you know, my family loves it because it's super crunchy. So it's almost like iceberg, but it's not iceberg. And then peppers. And I have a little baby celery plant growing. So that's it. That's what's going on with my towers and my my little ground gardens over there too. I'll just give you a quick peek. I think my phone's gonna die, but let me show you real quick. Uh, I have continued to have green onions. I planted, I forgot what that is. It's a tropical plant. Um, I have rosemary, I have carrots, I have red onions, I have garlic chives. There's actually a sweet potato plant in there, so there's a bunch of sweet potatoes. And I have lots of lemons. And that's it. You guys have a great day.